Hi, my name is Sarah Ann Basil. I'm a sophomore here at Murray State University. I'm originally from Murray, Kentucky. Here at Murray State, I am an OrgCom major with a minor in nonprofit leadership studies, and I'll be taking you on your virtual tour today. So our first stop on our tour today is the Curris Center. It has different student services, including the bookstore and the post office. It has different dining options for students, including Starbucks, as well as Chick-fil-A, and has lots of different offices, such as the Office of Recruitment, Center for Student Involvement, and the Marvin D. Mills Multicultural Center. Mason Hall is the home of our nursing program, which is an accredited program. If you're in the nursing program, you'll have majority of your classes in here. Alrighty, so next is Blackburn. Inside this building, we have lots of different offices to help out our students, including the LGBT programming office, as well as our study abroad office. Next, we have Carr Hall. Inside this building is home of our criminal justice, social work, as well as our nonprofit departments. It also is a really neat building because it has two different basketball courts inside and lots of different activity space for our students. Alrighty, so our next building is Oakley. Inside it has two different departments. So the first one is the Hudson School of Agriculture, and our second is the Applied Health Sciences, which includes exercise science, athletic training, nutrition, and dietetics. Also inside of Oakley, we have different services, including career services, the counseling center, and the women's center. So our next stop is Waterfield Library. Inside of this library, we have three floors. They like to compare it to a stoplight. We have a completely silent floor, as well as a floor um, where lots of group work and activity happens. You can also check out laptops or Chromebooks through the resource desk. And we have a couple different offices inside, which include the Racer Writing Center and the Racer Oral Communication Center. There's also a librarian for every department on campus that you can reach via phone or email. Also inside of our library, we have Einstein Brothers Bagel Company, which accepts flex and cash or card. All right, our next stop is the Fine Arts Building. Inside of our Fine Arts Building, we have lots of different um, options for you to study, such as theater, art, design, music. Um, lots of different arts programs are located in this building, um, and you'll see those scattered throughout all of the different classrooms. Features of this building include a music and art gallery, as well as different practice rooms, and our MSU TV 11 station, and WKMS our radio station. Now we are approaching the gates of Murray State. This kind of symbolizes the entry to Murray State University. And next up, we have our quad. The quad is an area that is surrounded by lots of different academic buildings. Um, and it also is a really great place for students to kind of hang out during the warmer times of the year in between classes. So in this area, we have our shoe tree, which is something that's really special to our campus. So if you do find your soulmate on campus and you end up getting married, um, the tradition is that you both bring back a pair of your shoes to hang on the tree. Um, sometimes people even bring back their children's shoes if they have children. Our shoe tree is also featured in a Lucas Gray music video, which is something that is really special for our campus. Our next building is Pogue Library. It is our second library here on campus. It is a silent library, um, so you won't hear a lot of people talking in there. Our law library is located in this building, and it was also voted by students the best place to take a nap on campus. As you're coming down the steps of Pogue Library, you'll see a statue of our founder, Rainy T. Wells. He founded the university back in 1922. Um, and on this statue, we actually have a fun tradition. If you come at uh, the week of finals and rub the diploma that he's holding in his hand, it is supposed to bring you good luck. However, if you step on the plaque in front of his statue, it's supposed to bring you bad luck. So be careful when you do that. Next up is the Lowry Center. It has free tutoring for our students, which is a wonderful resource, as well as it is home of our Honors College. Next up, we have Wilson Hall, which is home of my program, Organizational Communication, but it also houses journalism and mass communications, as well as public relations. It is also home of our newspaper, and fun fact, it was the first home for racer basketball on campus. Up next, we have Rather Museum, which is our third part of our university libraries here. Inside, it has lots of different beautiful exhibits that rotate frequently, so students have lots of different opportunities to check out new information. 
All right, next up we have our business building. If you are a fan of the stock market, this is just the place for you. We have a large stock market ticker throughout the building, which is really neat. So our business building is home to many different programs, including accounting, management, marketing, business administration, and so many more. And you can find even more of these majors located on our website at www.murraystate.edu slash programs. And we also have another great place to use your Flex here on campus. It's the Business Express located in this building. Uh, if you need a quick snack in between classes, you can always stop there. Okay, so Wells Hall is home of our university president as well as home of the psychology department here at Murray State. It also has lots of different resources to offer to its students, including um, student disability services, student affairs, and we also have our primary care location, which is a health services here for our students. Up next is a building that you should familiarize yourself with. It is Faculty Hall. Every single student on campus will have at least one class in this building because it is home to some of our general education classes. Some different departments inside of this building include our mathematics, our global languages, humanities, and so, so many more. All right, up next is one of my favorite buildings on campus. It is Lovett Auditorium. Many different student events are held in this building, whether it is Greek life or other student organizations. Um, lots of different programs happen here, including campus lights, as well as out on the steps, which is my favorite tradition, all campus sing. And it is a song and dance competition where students participate and compete against each other. It's personally one of the most fun things um, to participate or even watch here on campus. Next, we are going to head on over to our science complex. This building includes our Institute of Engineering, which holds our engineering and physics department and lots of other different engineering programs, as well as our biology and chemistry buildings. Up next is Alexander Hall. It is home of our education major, as well as communication disorders. Fun fact about this building is it is home to a preschool on campus. Um, and what's really neat about that is students who are in the communication disorders program or other um, speech pathology programs, they can actually work directly with those students who are there. Um, it is also home of our hearing clinic. All right, so as we are heading on over to our residential side of campus, I would like to go ahead and point out Murray State has been voted a safe campus here and has lots of different resources to help keep your students safe, including our blue call boxes, which can contact our Murray State Police Department and they can come assist really you at those blue boxes, as well as all of our residence halls are locked and you can only enter with a valid student ID for that building. We also have an app called the Live Safe app. It has lots of different resources, including direct contact to the Murray State Police through it. So we will go ahead and head on into Lee Clark College. This is where our showroom is located. So if you'll follow me, I'll take you on back. This is a basic layout of one of our residence hall rooms. You can rearrange it and decorate it just how you like. One of the perks in living in our residence halls on campus is that you have access to free laundry, which is really wonderful, as well as access to a public kitchen and lots of different study areas. Next, we're gonna go ahead and head on over to Hart Residential College. We just wanted to show you guys a different layout between um, all of the different buildings. Each residential college has their own programs that they hold throughout the school year for our students, which are a lot of fun and a great way to get involved on campus. And another fun building we have here on campus is our Student Wellness Center. Inside it has three full-size basketball courts. It has all of the exercise machines and free weights that you could dream about, as well as we also have a full-size pool where you can swim laps or relax in our hot tub area. In addition to all these great services, we also have different rooms where you can participate in classes such as yoga and Zumba. Students can also choose to rent out a kayak for the afternoon and take it to Kentucky Lake or Land Between the Lakes. Up next, we have two different dining options here on campus for our students, including Winslow Dining Hall. Here's where you use your swipes on campus. So if you have the unlimited meal plan, you have unlimited access to Winslow. They have lots of different options, including a salad bar, a pizza bar, a hot grill that changes every meal. We also have a special line for students who have different food accommodations. 
One more thing I'd like to point out about our campus is that we do have 15 NCAA teams from basketball to soccer to softball and even volleyball. We have lots of different complexes on campus, including our CFSB Center, which is home to our racer basketball teams. Next, we have Roy Stewart Stadium, which is home of our football team. And fun fact for students, you do get in free to all athletic events with your student ID. So that's definitely a fun way to get involved with your friends here on campus. One student organization that is involved with our athletics department is the Winner's Circle. With the Winner's Circle, you can receive fun Murray State items at different athletic events, and it's a really great way to meet new students as you cheer on our racers. Another neat tradition we have here at Murray State University includes our football games. During these games, when the racers score a touchdown, we have our mascot, Racer One, run the track. Alrighty, thank you all for coming on your virtual visit today. We are so glad to have had you today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at msu.recruitment at murraystate.edu. And always, shoes up.